Today is gonna to be a very interesting and fun video because in about two minutes, I'm headed out to look at an investment property, actually three separate properties that I'm gonna bring you along so that you can see the ins and outs of a deal before and after it is made. Real estate's always been a passion of mine and I'm super excited to go look at these couple of houses. I've spent the last seven hours so far this morning in front of my computer running ads for one of my main e-commerce brands, which is the company that is funding these investments. So. For those of you who uh, watch this channel regularly, you're aware of that, but I, I'm thinking I wanna do some sort of like day in the life video, showing kinda how I structure my day, exactly what it is I do on an average day from a work perspective. So let me know if you'd want to see something like that by dropping a like below. And with that being said, we're somewhat late and we're on a, on a schedule. We gotta kinda fight some traffic to get there. So with that being said, I'm off and let's go look at these houses. All right, up here in house number one, here is the master bath, which is really nice. Walk-in closet, it's still furnished, that's good to get an idea of kind of what's what. Main area, I'll show you this little patio spot. So it's not really, I mean it's an amazing area, one of the best areas around here, but not the coolest view, I mean it's got a little dead alleyway and stuff, but this house has a pool. The thing with a pool, when it comes to rental income, it really only adds like an extra like 50 to 100 bucks, which is what it's gonna cost to have someone come clean it. So if anything, it's more of a liability. Personally, I would want a pool, you know, whenever I rent a house, but it's got a pool, good little backyard, safe area, two car garage. Let's take a look at the rest of it here. I like that pool. You got, you got a toe stick now. I know, these are the only <laughs> socks I could find. Yeah, I do have a hole in my sock, but. High ceilings, main area, four bedrooms. Looks good. And they got a cat. <laughs> yeah, does the, does the cat come with? Be a deal breaker. Nice kitchen, main area. A lot of space, grass yard. Yeah, big area for families, be good, so. It's house number one here. It's a garage real quick for my car people. Cabinet storage and stuff. Kind of see a GTR right there. So yeah, this is the first one. It is currently listed on the market at 415,000. It's a four bedroom, three bathroom, just under 3,000 square feet. Really nice, you know, this is a, a very, very hot area right in the center of Gilbert, Arizona. Um, which if you guys are not familiar with the area, just a lot of families, really good rated, safe schools, low crime, a lot of parks around here. So you'd probably get a long-term tenant. My goal with this is probably just to rent it out. So it's a good area, nice house. All right, well house number one was solid. Looks like a really nice property. I just kind of drove through the surrounding neighborhoods. Super good area, literally like the classic white picket fence. I mean, there was multiple, I'm looking at multiple white picket fences. Like here, here's an example. <laughs> like an actual white picket fence. So yeah, we are uh, headed into the next one right now, which is, uh, it's a property that's only been on the market for one day. Here's the entrance to it. This is a nice neighborhood. Again, I'm not gonna say the area just for privacy reasons, but um, this one is a hot, hot area, hottest area around here. So excited to take a look at this property. Um, again, I'll give you guys kind of a quick little tour of it, I guess. So. Yeah, be there in a second. All right, and we just pulled up to the house. Bunch of trick-or-treating decorations. And look, imagine as a kid, there's a park right there, like four houses down from where you're at. I mean, this neighborhood is like literally perfect for a family. But yeah, park is right there, house right here. Yeah, that's a nice main area. Living room spot, I think three bedrooms. Nice backyard, the owners are actually here, so we gotta kinda keep it down. Another bedroom. So it's actually four bedrooms, plus a den, which is nice. This is all upstairs. There's another bedroom there. And this is the master. Here's kinda the backyard, I can't even see it, but nice master bath as well. 
Well, that's good. I thought it was three bedrooms. They might be counting the den as a bedroom, but they're not, so that's good. Four plus an office, which is really, really good. I like this. It's got a good feel to it. All right, house number two. Super, super good. I like it. Um, the owners were home, their kids sick, so one of the rooms was closed off, but really good, good layout. I liked it, amazing location. Um, and now we're going to the third and final house. That one, by the way, to give you a rundown uh, on the one we just looked at that I showed you a clip of, that one is basically the same situation. It's also a four bedroom, three bath, um, roughly the same square footage. It's just in a better area and it's $5,000 less. So basically the same price, it'd be basically the same everything. But I think that one would, if you were to rent it out as just a single family rental, I think it'd rent for another 100 to 200 bucks more a month, which is a decent little difference. So there's that. Now we're headed about 20, 25 minutes south to go look at the third and final house, which is also in a little more of an upscale area. It's a little bit of a cheaper house, like price wise, but you get a little more square footage and it's still a good area. So we're gonna look at that and see what we think. All right, out here at number three. All right, here's inside of the third house is the master bedroom, kind of low ceilings. Nothing too crazy, I'm, I'm not gonna get this one, but give you guys a quick show, kind of like a walk through closet area. This floor, you know, I used to do a lot of construction and roofing mostly, but this would need to be replaced. There's definitely some sort of water leak issue, but I mean, there's no patio really. Big backyard space, but again, nothing too crazy, a lot of open space, which is nice. Kids bedroom there. Another bedroom, probably for two kids, a little connecting deal. Yeah, you got the little colors on the fan. But, good upstairs area here. Nice kitchen. Backyard's got a lot of space, no pool or anything, which is kind of a good thing, but there's a little lemon tree. They're not ripe yet, but that's nice. Noticing all the little things, like the wood on here actually looks really nice. Good path coming all around. Could probably put a hot tub or something out here. Again, this one's the lowest priced property. I'm not gonna do it, just talked uh, with my guy for the last like 10 minutes upstairs in here. Gonna make an offer on the first two properties. Um, that second one is definitely gonna move quick. It's only been on the market for one day. So gonna kind of see what the deal is, ask the agent about the offers that are already in and you know how many showings they have scheduled just to get a sense of you know how hot it's moving and everything so we can gauge our offer appropriately. All right, so we're gonna head back. It's probably like a 35 minute drive back to my house. I'm gonna head back there and then give you guys a, a few more last minute details of the plan and close this video off. All right, house number three done, complete on the way back home. All right. Okay. I'm talking about the price. Um, he said if we could come in at full price and ask for $3,000 of concessions, he could probably get that accepted with the seller. Three out of probably what, like seven? Yes, yeah, seven, seven and a half. Um, but, you know, say that there's another home, he thinks it could easily appraise for the 415, no problem, because there's another home, almost exact same floor, or, uh, yeah, floor plan. Yep. Backs up to a major street that sold for 428. So, something that we could possibly do is, if you want to get all your closing costs covered and have less come out, um, come out of your pocket initially, we could bring the purchase price up you know, however many thousand dollars you want and get those covered in closing costs. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's like we could bring the purchase price up to, um, to 420 and get a full $8,000 in concessions. Okay. Yeah, what I would just need to look at um, is that AC unit, because that looks like it's about a bust. So he, he did bring that up as well. I brought that up to him. Um, they did go through the inspection and he said the inspector said that Everything was running fine on it. You just have to worry about the age, and if you have a home warranty, you really shouldn't worry about it. Okay, so as long as we have but, a, home, a home warranty, then we're good, if we have that. Yes, because he said he's like, they did all the splits and the differential and all that stuff on it, and it came back good like it did. Yeah, I, mean, I can tell it's old, and it's, you know, I, I don't want it to just bust out, and then I have to buy a new one outright. Right, hey, let me give you a call back to the other agent for the Morrison House, for the Morrison Ranch, give me a call back.
All right, yeah. All right, I'll talk to you soon. All right, bye. Bye. All right, well, Braden moves quick, which is awesome. Looks like that first house wants us to uh, go in with an offer basically at full price and have them pay for part of the closing costs, which is fair, but there was a few little issues I just want to make sure are good based on our inspection that we'll do, not the one that they did. So, yeah, we'll see, but that should be a good one. Okay, so, they don't have any, any offers in right now, but they do have quite a few showing requests. Um, I asked them if we can get any kind of closing costs, if you can make something happen. Um, he, he didn't say no, but he didn't say yes. So we could always, I think we could go in what we originally said, 410 and ask for 5K in concessions. Okay. And then make sure that you get your uh, your home warranty included as well. Yeah, that would um, be perfect. Just go in strong right away and just get it closed. Okay, cool. And then same thing with the first one. Now, what are your thoughts on the first one? Because it sounds like, and I'll do some research on my own. I want to make sure that it can easily appraise for that much because I really don't want to go through through the hassle and have to bring it back down down the future so if we can if it can appraise for at least the 428 would you like to raise the purchase price a little bit what do you think do you think i would need to or should i, I mean that's that's totally up to you so he made it sound like if we came in at purchase price we could probably get three thousand concessions but if we come up an extra five thousand dollars we could probably get an additional five thousand dollars so make it eight thousand in total then you don't have to pay for any closing costs that would make more sense. Let's do that. Yeah, and and so about every ten thousand dollars in your mortgage is going to be about a forty dollar extra in in your uh, monthly payment. Okay. So it's it's that, at that point that's just kind of totally up to you and what you want to do in the long run. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll do the math on it and see what makes sense. But um, yeah, we should be good. I mean, that that makes sense. Something to consider. Cool. And like I said, I'll run comps to make sure that I can appraise it for that, like what the seller or the agent was saying, um, and then we can go that route. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Just keep me updated on the numbers. Send me over like any breakdown whenever you get a chance, and uh, then we'll take a look at everything today. All right. Sounds good, man. All right. We'll talk soon. Yep. Bye. Yeah. Myself and Tanner made the decision to stop at In and Out. I have not regretted it yet. This is going to be fire. All right, and just like that, I am back in front of the computer, and I honestly don't regret getting in and out that much. It was delicious. Anyways, I have both of the offers in front of me just signing off on them for the first two properties. So realistically, might not get both of them, but definitely one of them for sure. So you know, looking to make that a, a deal pretty quickly here, and I'm ready to move fast. So always make sure to put yourself in a position to take advantage of an opportunity immediately. You know, just as an example, like an outside example, that's how I bought my cars. I, mean, I didn't really expect to buy them. I didn't really go looking for them to try and buy them, but the deal came up and I bought it right there on the spot. So, you know, make sure you're always prepared, ready for that opportunity. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want me to make more stuff based around real estate, maybe explaining, um, you know, like my financial targets and exactly what I plan on doing with the properties, both from a rehab perspective, a rental income perspective, even some Airbnb, as well, of, uh, as, well as like appreciation for a flip to get profit, definitely let me know by dropping a like down below there's always like specific targets i have with different investments so i haven't really shown too much of that at all here on youtube this is kind of the first real estate video so let me know if you guys enjoyed it by dropping a like was glad i was able to bring you along hope you enjoyed and with that being said i'll be seeing you in the next video peace